Welcome back everybody, Anthony Lontech here with another video. We got this morning some gameplay footage for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and it's a very exciting time because there's a lot in this uh, trailer as well as their website that we can talk about. A lot of new things that is happening for this game and I'm really excited. Now, uh, we did get a release date, official release date for November, of, uh, November 18th this year. Now, it's not surprising that it was set to release this year in November, because if you've been following Pokemon for some time playing the games, they typically release worldwide in November with the mainline games. So, release date, November 18th, 2022, for the Switch, awesome, great. And it's surprising to me because the gameplay here that we saw, that we saw it was pretty impressive in terms of some of the character animations, the character designs, the resolution, characters look pretty good in this game especially compared to previous games they did look pretty good in legends arceus uh just like a slight upgrade from the sword and shield character models in my opinion but this one seems to be a much bigger improvement uh game freak you can tell they're putting in all the work and the time and these character models look better they look like they have more expressions in their face more animations now it's nothing gonna no, it's not compared to like Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, you're not gonna get that same level of graphics and everything like that. But for Pokemon, for what we've had for years and years and years, we are finally, in my opinion, seeing some really nice improvements in facial animations and character textures and everything like that. Um, now, some Pokemons do look, you know, kind of the same in terms of how they performed in the past, and other Pokemons do look pretty good. So I'm happy to see that uh, improvement happening here. I'm also happy to see some fan favorite Pokemon returning, like um, Talonflame and that line of Pokemon. Love it, it's great. Uh, I believe there was a uh, Pupitar in the um, in the trailer, so you know Tyranitar will be in the game at some point, or you know, in one of the games, because you know they have the version exclusives. Now, I don't know what Pokemon will be exclusive to each version, but we did see some new Pokemon that they're going to um, introduce into this region. One of them, I can't remember his name, but it's like the cutest, funniest thing. It was actually, I have it here, my, my friends were chatting about it earlier. Uh, Lechonk, which is like a, a little boar. Uh, it's, it's just a funny name and very cute. Um, so we don't know yet, as far as I know, which Pokemon are exclusive to which version of the game. But, for the first time, we are getting an exclusive professor for the game, and these professors seem to have some type of similar appearance to the legendaries on the cover, which we will cover the legendaries in a bit. Now, I want to start with the two professors in the game, Professor Sada and Professor Turo. Sada is the professor for Pokemon Scarlet, does have a bit of a prehistoric um, vibe to her design, and Professor Turo does have a bit of a futuristic design. Now, does this confirm time travel in Pokemon? I don't know. Uh, I thought time travel was somewhat confirmed previously in Pokemon, probably not through the games, but I don't remember if it was through the anime or through um, a movie or something. Don't quote me, but this could potentially mean time travel is a thing in Pokemon. We've seen in the past, um, you know, the, the Ultra Beast um, wormholes, so having like different dimensions. We've seen, um, you know, Pokemon having primal reversion. Uh, so we don't know exactly if time travel will be a thing. Even in Legends Arceus, there was the space time thing, which is where you're teleported through. And, you know, of course, Dialga and Palkia being the creators of time and space. So we could see time travel in this game. Uh, who knows, right? Uh, they did show a bit more of gameplay with the starter Pokemon, not uh, yet of the um, second and third evolutions of those Pokemons and what they would look like. I do not want to see those. I know they're probably going to spoil it as we get closer to November. I want to play the game and surprise myself along the way. Now, that is a gamble. You may get a Pokemon, who the starter Pokemon, where you're not happy with the final evolution, or you may get one that you love. Um, it can be a gamble. I know in Legends Arceus, I knew the Decidueye will have a different design. Did not know that I would grow to hate the Decidueye with Arceus and how weak he was in my opinion and his design was just eh. But I do have a couple of friends who are each going to get the game and we are going to choose one of the three starters, or at least that's the plan. Me and the other members of the Three Amigos Podcast. Check out the Three Amigos Podcast because we have a podcast and it's pretty good. So check it out. Um, so I'm wondering if we're going to continue that plan. I think I'm gonna go with the fire or the grass type, depending on the other guys. I really do want the fire, because Fue Coco, I mean, come on. Um, I might end up getting the double pack anyway. You know they're gonna release a double pack. 
you know they're gonna give you something stupid like the diamond and pearl one i believe gave you like little pins which i have the pins i didn't even buy the double pack and i got the pins so hopefully you do get some kind of better pre-order bonus you probably get like a code for increased pokeballs or something like that so um they didn't show anything of that nature but what they did show is four player co-op yes yeah, so you can co-op the entire game with four player co-op now here is my concern which i don't think is going to happen but it could potentially happen considering that each version has its own professor are we going to be forced to play co-op with the players of the same version that we own or can we co-op with players who have the other version of the game i don't see why they would limit that type of co-op play but you never know so we, we gotta wait for more information to be released but yeah apparently you can co-op the whole game in four player co-op you can apparently tackle the game in any uh, order that you want because it's open world if you haven't heard by now they announced this in the last video they made about this it is open world for the first time in pokemon rcs was um semi open world it was monster hunter type of open world but this is going to be full-on open world go wherever you want do whatever you want for the most part and this is where i want to get into the legendaries because there is two legendaries in the game obviously well two main ones um and the names are if i can remember correctly which i can't right now but i'll put the names here on the screen but the there is uh, some talks about the, the design of these legendaries because the legendary for pokemon scarlet seems to have a really big wheel on his chest and the bottom of his tail kind of looks like a tire as well and then the legendary for violet it does have these two like um jet um rotors or jet engines whatever you want to call it um on, on its you know as legs and it does seem to have like a bit of a handlebar and saddle type of situation so will we be able to ride on the back of these legendaries and travel around the map quickly we have seen rideable pokemon in the past going all the way back till uh sun and, sun and moon had rideable pokemon uh, not as you know flushed out as rcs did but we even seen it as back as X and Y using Lapras to surf around the area. If you didn't know, you should know by now. Teaching Lapras surf will allow you to ride on Lapras' back when surfing. So we could potentially see the ability to ride on the back of these Pokemons. And I doubt that there will be anything about, oh, the purple one is faster because he's like a jet. And the red one is slower because he has wheels. Or the purple one could fly around the map. Don't think that's going to happen. But we could potentially see the possibility of riding on the back of these legendaries and cruising around the open world map. There's no talks yet if the legendaries will have an alternate form. I know some games did have this, some games don't. Spoilers, if you have not completed Legends RCS, because I'm about to spoil something very big. So Chris, this means you, if you haven't seen this part of the game, skip ahead from this part. But yes, Dialga and Palkia does have previous forms. I forgot what they call it, but it kind of turns them into like Arceus like po uh, forms. They're pretty ugly in my opinion. I didn't like it. Uh, Groudon and Kyogre both had Primal Reversion. Um, a Diamond and Pearl remakes didn't have those forms, which was weird, but they saved it for Arceus. So it's possible these guys can change forms. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, still up in the air. So hopefully that, uh, you know, something does happen out of these guys. Um, going on from there, it does seem like gym battles are back in the game. Um, and I think it is also the idea of, you know, you can choose whatever gym you want to take on first. And I only think the way that'll work is whatever gym you decide to go or whatever order you decide to go in, it will then scale the levels of those gym leaders to uh, match up with your Pokemon strength. Maybe it, maybe you can't do them in a particular order. Um, I heard you could, maybe you can't. We don't know yet. We also don't know the extent to the co-op play. Uh, they did show some videos where the players were meeting up in one spot and they all separated. So what is the range that a player can go and be on their own? You know, how long can you be in a game with somebody? Now, you know, everyone has their problems with the Nintendo network connection, saying they can't connect to the internet with the Nintendo Switch. What is everybody's problem with the connection? I can, can, I can connect just fine. And I have the stupid adapter for my Switch with the ethernet. So guys, get an adapter, get an ethernet, get better internet, I don't know. This is gonna be fun. I also did see in the trailer a part of the game where he's by, uh, the character's by a Pokemon Center, 
which doesn't seem to be a building anymore. I don't know if there is going to be Pokemon Center buildings, but there might be some in the wild, in the open area. And he sends a Pokemon by trade to another player, you know, possibly in the same game session. So instead of having to go through a certain menu and then finding the player, it might be a lot easier to trade with players, which is why I think co-op would not be limited to the same version. Say, hey, I'm in Scarlet, you're in Violet. I got this Pokemon, I got two of it. You can't get them, hey, let's trade. And you actually see the animation of the Pokemon's trading across from the two players, and that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, there was a couple of new Pokemon that was also shown. I put the pictures of the website of those Pokemon there. Um, and of course, you're gonna have your typical trainer battles. There's one thing I didn't like about the trailer, which was that some Pokemon animations, the attacks, still the same, like a tackle, I think, will just have them like disappear quickly and then come back or something like that. Um, maybe in the next game with the next Nintendo console, we will see more Pokemon animations. Uh, but they're still using some of the same ones that I think is gonna stick around for a little bit You know not so much, you know full movements animations, but you got to understand it is a Nintendo console It's heavily underpowered Compared to PS5 and Series X and Series S and PC. So we may not see these really crazy animations for every single uh, attack in the game until Nintendo decides to get a much more powerful console um, but added on to that, I would like to see more Pokemons get the sound effects. I think Pikachu lost his sound effect where he says Pikachu in Legends Arceus. I want to see that come back. Um, I would love to see voice acting in these games. There's a lot of games on Switch that has voice acting. Both games that got ported to Switch and games that were made exclusively to Switch. Um, for example, uh, Bayonetta 3 is going to be exclusive to Switch. It has voice acting. Um, I can't think of another one right now. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, that was, it's, a, it's a Switch game exclusive. A lot of voice acting in there. So they definitely can do it. It's just a matter of the timing to get it done. Um, but there isn't much else to talk about in the game other than, you know, which version I'm going to stick with. I am still thinking primarily Scarlet. Um, I mean, don't get, me wrong, don't get me wrong, the Violet Legendary is pretty cool with like the, the jet, you know, turbines on as his legs, but I do like the design of the Scarlet one a bit better, and you know, I like the color red, so, I mean, I, like I said, I'm probably going to get the double pack anyway, just to do the unboxing and have the games, um, and I, I'm excited, I can't wait for November, uh, it can't come sooner, I'm telling you that right now, it cannot come sooner. Speaking of red, if you don't know, I have a red Switch, the, the Mario Switch, so, it, it kind of it's gonna go hand in hand either way. Uh, maybe they'll do like a special edition with a steel bookcase. Maybe they won't. Not exactly sure. Um, I'm wondering what the extent of character uh, customization is gonna be. Uh, of course, there will be customization, clothing, hairstyles, and everything like that. Maybe we'll see even more options available. And I want to see more of the environments, more of the cities that we might be able to explore. We do see a lot of wild areas, and I'm hoping the game is not primarily just wild open spaces and not so much of towns and cities, because I want to see that in the games. I want to see at least one major city we can explore if they have any. Um, the extent of the water, because I'm sure you could surf on something out there. So I want to see what's going to happen with uh, traveling across water, but we got to wait. It's just, we're just now in June, so we got a little bit more to go. But that's gonna be this video for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If, I hope you learned something new. If not, hit me up in the comments. Let's talk about it. I'm Anthony Online Tech. I'm trying to get more videos out there. I'm trying, okay? Just bear with me. We're close to 300 subs. We're very close to 300 subs, so let's keep pushing. Share my videos. Share it with your friends and everyone else. Let's get these subscriber counts up there. Let's reach 300, okay? Because I'm, I'm planning something for 300 gonna be silly so let's see if we can get that number okay see you guys on the next one